We've known about the dangers of smoking for decades, but how exactly do cigarettes harm us? With each inhalation, smoke brings its more than 5,000 chemical substances into contact with the body's tissues. From the start, tar, a black, resinous material, begins to coat the teeth and gums, damaging tooth enamel and eventually causing decay. Over time, smoke also damages nerve endings in the nose, causing loss of smell. Inside the airways and lungs, smoke increases the likelihood of infections, as well as chronic diseases like bronchitis and emphysema. It does this by damaging the cilia, tiny, hair-like structures whose job it is to keep the airways clean. It then fills the alveoli, tiny air sacs that enable the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and blood. Within about 10 seconds, the bloodstream carries a stimulant called nicotine to the brain, which makes smoking highly addictive. Nicotine and other chemicals from the cigarette simultaneously cause constriction of blood vessels and damage their delicate endothelial lining, restricting blood flow, increasing the likelihood that clots will form and trigger heart attacks and strokes. Many of the chemicals inside cigarettes can trigger dangerous mutations in the body's DNA that make cancers form. Additionally, ingredients like arsenic and nickel may disrupt the process of DNA repair, thus compromising the body's ability to fight many cancers. It makes it harder for women to get pregnant, and in men, it can cause erectile dysfunction. But for those who quit smoking, there's a huge positive upside with almost immediate and long-lasting physical benefits. Just 20 minutes after a smoker's final cigarette, their heart rate and blood pressure begin to return to normal. After 12 hours, carbon monoxide levels stabilize, increasing the blood's oxygen-carrying capacity. A day after ceasing, heart attack risk begins to decrease as blood pressure and heart rates normalize. Lungs become healthier after about one month, with less coughing and shortness of breath. By the one-year anniversary of quitting, heart disease risk plummets to half as blood vessel function improves. Five years in, the chance of a clot forming dramatically declines and the risk of stroke continues to reduce. After 10 years, the chances of developing fatal lung cancer go down by 50%, probably because the body's ability to repair DNA is once again restored. 15 years in, the likelihood of developing coronary heart disease is essentially the same as that of a non-smoker. Quitting can lead to anxiety and depression, resulting from nicotine withdrawal. But fortunately, such effects are usually temporary, and quitting is getting easier, thanks to a nicotine replacement therapy through gum, skin patches, lozenges and sprays. That's good news, since quitting puts you and your body on the path back to health.